Hey y'all, don't mind how I look. It's really, well, it's early in the morning. It is April 26th. I officially have 11 days to my due date. And last night when I was asleep, I'm out of breath. Last night when I was trying to go to sleep, y'all, I had like contractions like none other. I don't know if it was the regular Braxton Hicks contraction, which I normally have those or what, but they were hurting so bad and they were more consistent than ever. I was literally getting them like every five minutes and they lasted about a minute or two. I couldn't move or nothing. And I thought maybe it was because I was hungry. I tried eating, I tried drinking some juice, drinking some water, eating some fruit. I tried everything. I even had to pee every 30 minutes and it's nothing worked. I literally did not get any sleep at all last night. She's signing her papers. It might be the day, y'all. Caution. 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 Might be the day. To be continued. Okay, y'all. So, oh my God, I look so bad. But I have made it at the hospital. I know I didn't um, finish off what I was telling y'all at home. But I basically came to the hospital this morning because all last night, like literally all last night, I kept feeling contractions, which the break, his contraction is pretty normal, but this was like none other. Like, I was getting them back to back, like five minutes, uh, like within every five minutes, and then it was like last for a couple minutes. Now, that was unusual. Usually, when I get them, they'll be like probably like once an hour or something like that, and it won't be really too much long. But last night, I was going through it. Like, I was literally crying. I tried eating. And sometimes, when I eat, you know, to make it go away. That didn't have, That didn't work. I tried drinking some juice, drinking some water. That didn't work. I tried eating fruit. That didn't work. I literally got no sleep last night. I got, like, a total of 30 minutes of sleep. And I didn't go to sleep till like, 8 this morning. And, um, yeah, I told my mom. And then she said that I need to come to the hospital. So, that's where I'm currently at. And I will keep y'all updated. Yeah, my mama and my sister is here. My daddy, he went home, but he's going to be back. And depending on what they tell me, like if they're going to keep me or not, I'm going to let my child's father know. Child's father know as well. Oh my God, I look so bad. I can't believe it. But yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. I went on the doctor. I just had to change, put this on, put my gown on. But I'm about to put me some lotion on because I'm ready. So, Wish me luck. I kind of hope that they don't keep me. Now, if they have to, then obviously I'm there for it. I'm here for it. But I kind of hope they don't just because I'm not really prepared. But if she decides to want to come today, then um, welcome baby Kanani to the world. Okay, so you guys, Kanani arrival might not be today. She's having contractions, but it's nothing serious. the next couple of days i say <laughs> she's ready to go she has contractions though Let's see but nothing that bad till next time Okay, y'all, so I just got back home not too long ago, and I don't even remember, I don't know. If I told y'all what the doctor said, I don't think I did. But basically, my contractions were about five. She said 10 minutes apart. But I literally was feeling the contractions, like I said earlier. Like I was feeling them last night about five minutes apart. But she said it wasn't like enough for them to basically keep me. 
catch my breath. And also, um, she did check my cervix and it was still the same, dilated the same. So she said to just go back home and track my contractions. Track it and see about how far apart they are and then also how how um much how long they last, how long each one lasts. If they are about a minute to three minutes apart, then they recommend me coming back. Or if my water breaks or my mucus plug comes out to come back, she said um, some things that I could do if I do want to go into labor is to go walk and stuff. I'm not really trying to go into labor um, yet. If I end up going, obviously, you know, like I said, I'm okay with that, but I don't want to go into labor just yet because I do have still have a couple things that I need to do before she gets here. But with this going on, it definitely makes me like have realized like I really do need to get stuff together. I really need to pack our hospital bag, my hospital bag, her hospital bag. I really need a nap because like I told you earlier, I hadn't been asleep because of me hurting last night. So I'm about to take me a little nap when I get up. I'm going to um pack our bags and yeah and i'll say friday friday if i ain't been and went back had to go back or whatever i'm gonna friday i don't care when she comes in like as far as like she could come at any time then but i want to at least wait to friday at least friday y'all so i keep that updated um this is probably going to be a part of my labor and delivery vlog just because I don't, I have 11 more days left, but I really don't feel like I'm going to make it that long. I think I'm going to end up having her pretty soon. So this is going to be included in my labor and delivery vlog. Um, yeah, I'll give y'all more updates as I experience more. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, I can't show much because my restroom is not the cleanest at the moment. But here is how my stomach looked, y'all. I look bad. <laughs> Don't mind what I got on. But this is how we're looking. I didn't really drop much, like I said, because I'm still dilated about one centimeter. But we're getting big. It's like she's being stubborn. Like, she don't want to go. So, yeah, stop being stubborn, little girl. Little girl. Stop being stubborn. But, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, so it is the next day. Um, it's like early in the morning. It's literally like 3.52 in the morning. It is now the next day. Um, the last time I talked to y'all was yesterday when I came back from the hospital. And I told y'all what they had said. And I told y'all I was going to take a nap. And then I was going to wake back up and do my little hospital bag. Because I still have yet to pack it. But y'all, when I got back home, I caught myself trying to lay down. But I literally had like no energy. I was hurting the whole time. Contractions still on 10. <sighs> Trying to track them, but I was in so much pain. I couldn't focus on tracking them. Um, but they were bad. And I actually am having one now. <sighs> Y'all, my baby is worth every bit of pain, though. But nevertheless, I'm still in pain. Um, I'm trying to do the best I can to update y'all. I keep forgetting. I ain't been doing nothing but just laying down, trying to stay down because the hospital did say there's really nothing they can do unless, you know, I'm contracting a little bit more, like, like heavily, steadily. And also to come back if, like, my water breaks or if the contractions, like I said earlier, or last time, in the last couple, one or three minutes apart, or if my mucus plug uh, comes out. So... I was laying down just now and I had to use the restroom. So I used the restroom and I saw a little bit of blood. So, and it looked like, uh, it wasn't a blood clot, but it was like 
a little, look, not clunk, but like tissue, but blood, if that makes sense. And so I told my mama, and she was like, that's your mucus blood. So then I used the restroom again, because I had, I had to pee. Like, you literally have to pee a lot when you're pregnant, especially when I literally have 10 days to my due date. You literally freaking pee a lot. So I had to pee again. The next time I peed, there was no blood. But, like, when I wiped myself, there was a little blood on the tissue. So I was like, I'm about to just take a shower. And also, I was um, leaking, too, which is normal. I've been doing it, like, normally throughout my pregnancy. So I was like, I just feel uncomfortable. I just want to go take a shower. So I took me, like, a little cool, kind of warm shower. I went upstairs to do that, but before I had to do that, I had to use the restroom again. This is like not even five minutes later. When I use the restroom again, I like to like make sure I'm looking in the toilet as I'm using the restroom because, you know, I don't want to surprise myself. But as I was using the restroom, a whole clunk of like blob of like, literally when I say brown stuff, like it was literally brown stuff, but it was watery though. And they were like, I wish I could show y'all the picture, but I don't, that's probably too graphic for y'all. I think on if I'm gonna add it off to the side or not, but I don't think I am. It's just a little too much. But I had been looking like a couple weeks ago. I started looking up like how your mucus plug is gonna look, and that definitely is my mucus plug. So my mucus plug has came out. <sighs> oh y'all, God! <laughs> oh, I look so bad on top of that. Oh my God! Yeah, so my mucus plug has officially came out. Uh, I my doctor appointment is actually today, which is good. My uh, you know, my weekly doctor's appointment, you know, like the last month, I would say, you go to the doctor every week, and it's actually at nine thirty. I booked it for nine thirty this uh this week this morning, which is good. So what I'm just about to do is try to just lay down for these next few hours, cause I'm getting up at eight to get ready. So I'm just trying to lay down try to go to sleep because I really ain't been getting no sleep and I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna just and I've been taking pictures of how this of what I see in the toilets I use the restroom so I'm gonna show my doctor and see what she said so honestly speaking my baby might come today or she may come tomorrow today is Thursday she may either come today or tomorrow y'all and at this point I'm ready to get her out I ain't been in a rush to get her out I've been doing good but <laughs> since I'm close to my due date it's like she wants to come out, but then again, she being stubborn. Like, I'm having these contractions and I'm hurting so bad, but she don't want to come out yet. So, but I'm not rushing her, but if she if she do come to there tomorrow, I won't even be mad. I won't even be mad at it because it's distant. So, <laughs> that's enough talking, y'all. I'm going to update y'all when I get up later on to uh, go to my doctor's appointment. Or if something happens before then, then I'll let y'all know. I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all, so I am at the hospital. I'm not at my doctor's appointment. I already went to my doctor's appointment. When I got there, now keep in mind, yesterday when I went to the hospital and they checked my service and stuff, they said that I was still tight, like really tight, and there's really nothing they could do about it. So when I left from there, I lay down. I couldn't do anything else but lay down, literally contracting like every time we turn around. And I just couldn't take it. But I was just trying to wait until my doctor's appointment this morning. I went to my doctor's appointment and checked my baby's heart. My, my baby is doing good. She's active per usual. Um, she checked my cervix and she said, how how many, how many much have you been contracting? And my doctor just said that. And I told her. And she said, you are five centimeters dilated. So to go from basically like half a centimeter dilated to five centimeters in just a few hours is crazy. So she said, oh, you need to go to the hospital. I'm going to call them and let them know that you're on your way. And, yeah, so I literally went straight from my doctor's appointment. I mean, straight from my doctor's office to the hospital. And I'm just waiting on my mom and dad to come because I had, my dad had to drop me off. He went to go get my mama. I'm waiting on them to come. My sister is supposed to be coming, my cousin, and my child's father as well, y'all. I'm nervous. Ready to meet my baby though. So, I'm gonna give y'all like a little tour of the room. I'm supposed to be taking my clothes off and putting my gown on. But I'm gonna try to give y'all a tour right quick. And. <sighs> okay, so this is how the room looks. This is my stuff. 
I need to get the pet my hospital bag. My mom and I'm gonna go back to the house and get it for me. Make me one. This is the couch where the guests will be sitting at. The little area for the baby when she's born. The little bear. This is the restroom, which I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute when I got my things, my clothes. Got a sink, another little stool, another little chair, a little little table, trash can, lots of TV. Let me hurry up y'all because I don't know when the doctor's going to be in here. Say something. <laughs> you gonna doctor today? You gonna doctor today? You gonna doctor today? Hello. Your hair done. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm with anesthesia. I'm a nurse with anesthesia. I'm also a senior anesthesia student with UT. Mm -hmm. I came to talk to you and see if you wanted an epidural. You don't have to have a gas. centimeters. Baby gonna be sitting in the little thing, y'all. Get the baby blade. Getting it warm. It's hot. It's good. Yeah. Don't play you got a book under you. Huh? 
With ice. Hmm. Don't drink the wine, you try to eat ice. And dump some water in. How's the pain now? Still, still the same as it was when we spoke a couple minutes ago? Okay. Still kind of hurt.
more importantly to make sure that that cannot be yeah. She's hurt anyway right now, so she's hurt apparently like her left side. I don't know, I told you five out of ten on the left, so yeah. better, but still sucks. Yeah. Right, it's like a ten out of ten. I will let them know that too. Okay. Um, see if they want to me to like pull back, or they want to like you know evaluate something. What do you think they place the epidural? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so precious and she's so alert. My baby already smart. Get her on her little lips. Her little eyes. She hungry though. They need to come back in here so they can feed her. Huh? Thank you.